All right, let's check out what's going on with Fata Token. So I did just make a video for T Fuel, which is Fata Fuel yesterday, and they are both setting up a very, very similar chart. If we look at Fata Fuel and we look at Fata, you can see we're both in this big accumulation range. Uh, which is quite abnormal as there's really only been one accumulation range uh, that was somewhat like this and it was much more euphoric and short, shorter lived. I would argue that this was an accumulation range before the next breakdown. But what we're seeing right now is we're really being constrained between the top and the bottom of this uh, accumulation range and I, I could talk about the fibs if we come over to the macro perspective you can see you've got your 786 slicing through the upper part. Uh, of the top of this accumulation range coming in at approximately $3.83. It is very important for the macro term that we do get above 384, but from what I can tell, the 786 Fibonacci hasn't been the most well respected since we've been in this accumulation range. I mean, we've we came back and back tested it, you know, once, twice, three times, but as soon as we lost it, and we were kind of doomed to trade in this uh, this accumulation range, which, by the way, you know, has been going on for the whole Q1. I mean, we really came back into this at the start of January, but you can see, you could argue, you could draw this range all the way back to the 3rd of December, and more or less, we've been chopping around in this range the whole time, apart from a quick fake out, uh, which I would just really argue was a head and shoulders before we broke back into the accumulation range anyway. So. This accumulation range is very, very, you know, it's, it's, it's very boring. There's no other way to say it. It's the same for T-Fuel, except for T-Fuel, this has been going on since the, uh, since the 4th of December. So it's been going on a little bit longer. This has really, really been dragging the life out of Theta. But on the flip side, uh, we have managed to consolidate, consolidate, consolidate. And currently we are building pressure, building pressure, building pressure while we are in this range. Now, we're not seeing a crazy amount of volume right now, at least not compared to what we were seeing uh, before we were in this accumulation range. That is to be expected whenever you're in a pattern or an accumulation range. Volume does normally drop to the downside, but what do I want to talk about for this video in the short term? Well, today we're seeing a half decent amount of volume step in. And as you can see over here on the daily squeeze momentum indicators, we are having a momentum flip in the favor of the bulls. Now, what happened the last time the bears lost control? You can see when the, bear, when the bears lose control, we turn from light red candles to dark red candles. When, once these dark red candles come in, it is indicative that the bears are losing control. Then we switch over into a bullish phase. And then when we get these dark green candles, it's indicative that bears are losing or bulls are losing control and we're about to enter a bearish phase. So what happened the last time we exited a bearish phase? We were right here turning dark red on the 28th of September. And that portrayed a move up to the dark green candles where we topped out uh, at approximately a 51% increase. Now, bear in mind, I'm not drawing these from the high to the low. If I was drawing them from the high to the low, it would have been a 92% increase. That is cherry picking the data. I'm simply showing you these increases we have once the daily squeeze momentum says that the bears are losing momentum, and then the impulse that we have up until the point where the bulls start losing momentum. So the last bullish momentum shift, we had a 51% increase. As you can see, we started turning dark green on the 4th of April. So right here, we came all the way down and we topped off on the 19th of April, which was actually this candle right here. So once again, not cherry picking the data. This was a 28% drop. If you wanted to cherry pick it from high to low, it was a 37% drop. These momentum indicators do not predict the exact tops and bottoms. They simply predict uh, the swings in the market because these markets move in cycles between bear impulses and bear and bull impulses. I did that the wrong way uh, around. I, I meant, you know, if we're drawing it like this, bull impulses and then bear impulses uh, down to the dark side. And as you can see, these dark red candles are starting to subside, which is indicative that we are about to enter a bullish phase. Now, obviously, I'm completely eyeballing this. This is uh, an absolute approximation. But if we were just drawing this simply how these other ones have drawn, you know, giving it a little bit of time, I could imagine that this next uptrend could be going on for the next couple of weeks. 
And because we've put in a higher low since the last flip, you can see we were down here at approximately $2.64. Now, when we had our flip on the 19th of April, we're doing it up here at $3. So we've got a higher low. We've got more momentum carrying us with this next uptrend. I do believe as we've had quite a a very very harsh trough down here that we should be taking our time and building momentum and pushing back to the upside for Theta. Now I do not want to predict when we're going to be breaking out of this uh, asymmetrical um, or not asymmetrical I don't want to predict when we're going to be breaking out of this accumulation range I simply feel like nobody re really has the answer to that we've had these bear and bull swings within this accumulation phase multiple multiple times what I can however predict is that as volume is coming in, as the momentum indicators are picking up, I believe we have a very, very decent shot of at least entering the top of this accumulation range. And previously, when we actually topped out on the wicks, that was, you know, all the way up to here at $4.40. Now, for me to become macro bullish, we really need to break back out of this accumulation range. So I can't say... You know, are oh, the set, the six one eight Fibonacci here is on the table. You know, six dollars and forty cent is going to be on the table within the next couple of weeks. I I can't even really draw from high to low and give you many valid price targets because until we break out this range, we're not even coming up to our first fib at the two three six at five dollars and forty seven cent. So I I feel like I'd be wasting time and just finding things to talk about when there's no need to talk about these fibs. The fact of the matter is, we are in a huge accumulation phase right phase right now uh for t fuel and theta it is really anyone's guess as to which direction we break in my opinion i think we're going to break to the upside i think theta is undervalued at this price i think that the 786 breakout is likely uh very very soon in my opinion and i am bullish on this i think this is going to come up at least 25 percent to the top of this range uh, but i more accurately believe that we are going to come up to approximately uh, where we topped out before, which is $4.40. That is basically all I've got for Theta. I'm loving how we're seeing an increase in volume. We are pumping above these daily EMA ribbons once again. The bulls are taking back control of the daily squeeze momentum indicator. We're heading back up to the top of this accumulation range. We have fired a four hourly long on the EMA ribbons. And in the past 12 hours, we're seeing an influx of volume. The bulls have taken over the most recent four hourly uptrend. The last time bulls took control of a four hourly uptrend, we saw a 56% rally. And so far from where this fired here on the four hourly candle at 4 a.m., we have only moved up 9% and we're only up 5% right now. So I assume a lot more momentum is going to be coming to the upside for Theta. I would really like to see the top of this range get broken at $4.40. But unfortunately, it would be degenerative of me to say... In my opinion, we're going to break this in the next week or the next month. The chart is looking like we want to gear up to break it, but I never want to put myself in a position where we're in an accumulation range for three months, and then I'm saying, oh, we're going to break out of it. I feel like that's just setting up to fail. I do not, I'm not 100% sure if we are going to break up or break down. The break up is looking more likely simply because we have higher lows in this market structure. We're below the 786 and we're still holding up very nicely. And yeah, once again, I think Face is a good project. T Fuel is also in this accumulation phase. Uh, T Fuel started the rally a couple of days ago. We're in this asymmetrical triangle. We're having a big, big push up. I did a whole video on T Fuel yesterday. I won't get into it for this video. If you are looking for separate analysis on T Fuel, check out my channel. I will provide uh, information on both Theta and Theta Fuel. Now, once again, uh, Theta has bottomed at 10 on the MFI. I already mentioned this, but these are all the reasons why I'm incredibly bearish on Theta coming up into the next couple of weeks and a couple of months. I do think we're at some point we are going to break through this, um, this accumulation phase. Like I said, I however do not want to put a date on that. I imagine we'd be heading up to it very shortly. I imagine within you know the next week or two we'll be up in this 28% increase. But whether it takes us a little bit extra of time to break out of here, 
you know that is anyone's guess we will have to look at the market when we do come up to these ranges and we will have to react to them rather than predict them that is all i've got for you today i am predicting a 28 percent increase we're looking very nice for theta and theta fuel that's all i've got once again not financial advice cowboy out peace